Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. If you are new here, welcome. I am so, so excited. It's the New Year, so we have to do great things. We have to be open for what God has in store for us. I'm really excited what he has in store for me and as well as you, but be open to whatever it is he wants to pour into you. Just be open and available for him. And may this year be a prosperous year for you and your loved ones, okay? So I wanted to come on here really fast and show you ladies how I install these jumbo, I want to say Senegalese twists. Um, I normally do this, but they're when I do them, they're a lot smaller, <laughs> but I do have somewhere to go. And I was like, oh, I got this section to do left. Let me just show my ladies how this is a great way to give yourself a break, get your hands out of your hair and just relax and rock a little cute style for about two weeks if you like. And it's really easy. I don't want to talk too much because I'm going to be doing a lot of talking during the video. I'm going to show you two ways to install these. So get ready. And I do have so much more in store this year, a little more of Kaya Moore and a little more of new things. So I am so excited for what this year has in store for me and this channel. And I'm just going to let God do his thing. So I cannot wait to share this journey with you. And thank you all for just coming onto this channel and subscribing and coming to my videos. You guys don't know how much that means to me. And it just keeps me motivated. Just keep just to want to keep going. So I love you all. May this year be your greatest. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to rock your natural hair. It's beautiful because you love it. And that's all that matters, okay? So have a prosperous year. I love you all and stay tuned for more. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. So what I used to part my hair was of course my shine and jam. This is the same product I used to do my faux locks. I will never stop using this. My hair loves it. All good. And then next always what's really important to me when it comes to protective styling is just protecting your natural hair. Make sure ladies that when you are doing any protective style braids, passion twists, anything you like, just make sure you coat your hair with some kind of leave-in conditioner or some butter. Okay? Very, very important. And that product I was using was the TGIN, ladies, that is fire. You just want to make sure that with that leave-in or butter, you just keep those ends hydrated. So right here, I'm just showing you how you're going to use your crochet needle. So that's the hook and there's the latch. That's exactly how you would lock the hair inside the hook. And then I'll definitely demonstrate um, how I'm going to do that. So here I'm taking a small piece. This is the size I'm going to be putting inside of um, each section or each uh, ponytail. Only because I wanted to show you ladies um, exactly how to do it. But the amount of hair that I'm going to use for each box is um, you can actually just split that in two. You don't have to do small pieces. And I also wanted to share with you too that at the beauty supply store they do have different sizes so you can use a bigger hook i really wasn't um i didn't really care i just grabbed this one because i saw it picked it up right when i placed that um the crochet needle inside the box i do go on a diagonal only because i want to make sure that when i place the hair it's going to cover that rubber band so that's this is one way to cover the rubber band and this is the amount of hair I'm going to use for each box but like I said you can split it in two only you don't have to do the small pieces like I'm going to show you you're going to hook the hair right inside the hook and then you see the latch I just put it down I'll show you again and I put it back down now it's locked now what I do is like a twist method only because I don't want the hook to um, I'm sorry the latch to open back up for some reason that's what happened to me so um, I just wanted to make sure I shared that with you ladies you don't have to do that but when I did kind of pull it straight out without the little twist method the latch came open and it was just like a big mess so just to show you again 
I just go in at a diagonal. Same thing. I hook that hair on. You see how I'm twisting it? Perfect. And then you're just going to gently separate the hair. Now what I do is I do kind of hold down one side and then um, I pull the, the other hair strand out. So you see here I'll hold that down one side and then I pull the other side out. And then that's how you know that they are in there. So right here you want to do like a coiling method with one hair strand first. You take your finger, your pointy finger and your thumb with the other hand and you kind of grab that still coiled, that hair strand still coiled. Now you're going to take the other piece and you're going to do that coiling method too. And if you look closely, the rubber band's covered. So it's perfect. Now you're just going to keep kind of doing that coiling method nice and secure. If you have a little natural hair out, my hair is short, so I just get some gem and I kind of tuck it in between the hair strands. And then now I'm able to hide my hair. Right here you're going to, um, you can either do like a... Um, I want to say like a knot method, you just kind of wrap one hair strand around. I should have showed you ladies and then you tie it in a knot. But what I like to do, I just break the ends and then I dip my hair. I put perm rods on the end to curl it and then I dip it. It just doesn't unravel like that. But either either method's good, You whatever you're comfortable with, okay? I'm sorry ladies, I forgot to mention the type of hair I'm using. It's just the pre-stretch um, easy braid. I love using this hair because it doesn't irritate my scalp and it matches with my hair texture very well. Um, also, I wanted to show you ladies really quick here. So let's say for some reason that you pull the hair through and it splits in half while you're pulling it through. No worries, all you have to do is take that piece on the outside and all you have to do is just pull it away and it does not mess up your process and you can add it in the hair later or just leave it out and you hold the hair down and then pull through so now this is the second method I wanted to show you ladies you just take a piece of the braiding hair and you wrap it around your hair once or twice this method is either to secure or I use it to cover the rubber band just another method if you like um, or also you can make it more snug, but like I said, I don't want these braids too tight. You know, I really want to still protect my natural hair. So the looser the better. Like I said, I am going to leave this in maybe about a week or two anyways. This is just to give me a break. So I don't want it super tight. And then all you do is tuck that braiding hair inside of one side of the braiding hair if that makes sense and then you can just twist pretty easy that's just another method um, I like to use as well okay Hey ladies, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip. So make sure that each of your ponytails are actually loose so that when you do place that um, braiding hair through your hair, it's not difficult. The looser, the better. And then you can secure it with your natural hair and just kind of um, pull it together and that's how you'll keep that braiding hair um, intact. So don't pull too hard when you are trying to secure the braiding hair. Just be very gentle. But that's pretty much it for this video. Ladies, I will definitely catch you on the next one. I love you all. May your day and week be blessed. I will see you soon. Bye.